Well, we continue from many of Loveland here, sister dealership of Coase BMW. It is the Ram Report with head coach Chip McElwain, Brian Roth back with you. 24-20, Colorado State with that big win over New Mexico to close out the season. And you know, you, we talked about the offense and great start. And then the second half, all of a sudden you guys are down. First time you're down the entire game, down 20 to 17, 303 to go. Uh -huh. And your offense steps up and puts together, I, I think, really the best drive of the season. You know, it was, and, and, and it's something we practice every Thursday, uh, you know, good on good. I thought Canner, or Connor really handled that well. I thought the whole, the whole drive, you know, he took what they gave him, you know, he didn't try to force the ball, and, and then, of course, hitting the big uh, wheel route at the end, you know, to put us ahead, you know, that, that was huge. Yeah, and talk about that final play because, um, you know, you, you, you sneak Hansley out, and, yeah. boy, he just ran right by the defender who didn't know where to go, and by the time he realized where he needed to go, it was way too late, and then Connor put it right on the money. Well, you know, it's something Coach Baldwin's worked on, you know, and, and, and has, has implemented is off of, actually off a screen look that we have, and, and, you know, it's really interesting. We started the season against CU with that same play as a touchdown, and, of course, to end the season <laughs> on the same play, you know, I mean, uh, there's something there, you know, and, and yet, you know, I thought our offensive staff, I thought Coach Baldwin put a great plan together. And, and uh, you know what? Our guys really played hard. Yep, no question. Once again, Colorado State well over the 400-yard mark of total offense as we take you inside that victorious Ram locker room. Drive of the game for Colorado State from the 49 yard line. This will be Wilkie off the left side, big hole 45, 30. Wilkie near side, 35, 30. He's pushed out of bounds at the 28 yard line. We've been talking about that all season, and we've been able to move the ball all season like that. But the thing is, we will always lose, like, you know, something happened, turnover or something like that, or we shoot ourselves in the foot. So for us to put together a drive like that and finally, like, everything worked the way we wanted to, man, it was awesome. That goes deep down the middle of the field. It's got a touchdown! Joe Hansley! I guess he just happened to be in the right place at the right time. And, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't mind getting Joe Hansley the ball. He can make plays, so. Counter Smith will turn, handoff, off, okay, and check down, Sander Big Hole, 30, 25, cut up field, broke a tackle at 20, still on his feet at the 15, all the way down to the 12. I feel like our run game really started to come together, and it was nice just because it was something that we knew we could do, but we hadn't been doing. And so kind of getting it going and saying, good, this is what we know we can do, we're doing it, it was definitely a good feeling. Here we go, this is the ball game. Call it fourth and a short two. Woke is the deep back. Smith will take it, toss to the right side. Woke running, lowers the pads. First down, CSU. I mean, that was something. He wouldn't have got that. I mean, he probably wouldn't be seeing me up here excited, really. But, you know, uh, it was just, you know, Woke just lowered his shoulder and just hit the hole. And, I mean, he got to get all the credit for that. He pushed the pound forward and he got the two yards we needed. That was big. I always thought that it would be pressure like in a situation like that, but everybody felt calm because you know we do it so much in practice and it was finally a time where we had to use it in the game, so everybody felt calm. Pump fake, Smith to go to the air, gonna go deep down the far side and Hansley open at the five, touchdown, Colorado State with 129 to go. CSU is back into the lead. We practice that two minute drill every Thursday. So, uh, you know, I, I just try to myself focus on staying calm and uh, doing, you know, what I've been coached to do. You came back, you finished, and that's what the program is going to be built on. And to you seniors, I appreciate you. Again, what a scene in that Ram locker room and what a feeling to close out the season as Colorado State did is one of the most entertaining games of the season, Jim. And for the fans that showed up at St. Lubick Field, they were they were treated to a fantastic ball game. Well, and they were into it. And, yep. and I just, you know, I can't say enough about those people that showed up and, and had a lot to do in some critical situations, some third down situations, you know, that caused them to 
actually have to do some checks and, and some things, and then at the end of the game, I mean, it was electric. Yeah, no question about that. The Rams get that big stop at the end, but you looked at your defense, and here you had a New Mexico rushing game coming in averaging 314 yards per game, and you basically took them out of their rushing game. We did, and, and you know, it, like I said, those guys, it, the plan is sound. Now, do your job, yeah. and, and I think they took that to heart. And, and I tell you what, our guys, you know, were on the pitch. You know, there were some couple times a quarterback got loose, but I'd rather have him running than some of those other guys. And uh, yet, you know, we never gave them that big explosive play and in the run game that, that they had kind of been getting uh, up to that point. Yeah, you know, we talked about it on the post game. I mean, you, you forced him into a passing team, and next thing you know, Holbrook's in there, and he's, he's throwing the football over the yard. I, I bet you, you guys probably didn't expect that coming into <laughs> well, the game. Well, you know, considering that there was one game they didn't complete a pass, and maybe yeah, threw five. Week. Yeah, you know, and, and uh, obviously, you know, not having necessarily, you know, worked on it, yet at the same time, we contained it for the most part, and, and that's something we wanted to do. Yep, no question. Colorado State again gets that big 24-20 win. We'll take a timeout, come back more with head coach Jim McElwain. We'll talk about some of those fantastic seniors and also take a look at Ram Center, Weston Richburg, not a senior. He'll be back next year for his senior season. That's next here on the Ram Report from many of Loveland.